Hello and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. In this one, I will be showing you how to build the all new Zero G. What is Zero G? Well, it's the GNOME edition of Zero Linux, of course. Yeah, it's back. But first, I need to clarify a few things. This is just a side project for now. For the time being, the only way to, uh, to, to get the pre-built ISO is by either supporting me on Patreon monthly via the $25 tier, which not only will give you access to the ISO, but one-on-one -on -one support on Discord or Patreon itself, and any and all future projects I will be working on, like the upcoming WM edition. Don't know which WM yet, We'll see that in 2023. That's next month, right? But if you think that's too steep of a, uh, of a price to pay for an ISO, worry not. You can also donate any amount you want to my fundraiser. Just include in your comment that you are interested in 0G. And I will, share, uh, I will be sharing the ISO with you. Otherwise, you can just build it yourselves for free. Hence this video. As to, the, uh, as to the reason for which I am doing this, well, I won't go over it in detail here. More info via link in the video's description. Suffice it to say that I am currently going through financial hardships due to the bad economical crisis in Lebanon. If I, if I don't start making some cash soon, the Zero Ronex project might have to be put on indefinite hold or even killed. It's becoming financially difficult to maintain it. We don't want that to happen now, do we? Just think of it as paying for the service for my time, basically, to do the research, build the ISO for you. I would be forever thankful to all you who feel I deserve your support. Okay, okay, enough, uh, en uh, enough with this. You guys came here to learn how to build the ISO, not to listen to me ramble on. All right. Let me start by saying you can build 0G on any Arch-based distro, minus a few. Which ones are those? Manjaro, which is not Arch. It doesn't use the Arch repositories. So you are going to have issues building 0 Linux because we need the Arch repositories. There's a lot of packages that 0G relies on that aren't there. Cache OS. They use the uh, Arch v3 architecture or the x86-64 v3 architecture. That might cause issues. So that's a no-go. KOS is not Arch, never has been. They are, and also, they have very limited repositories and they're very temperamental as to uh, which packages they include. So also, no-go. Finally, Artix doesn't even use systemd there. They're the infamous anti-system D people. Plus they use their own repositories, which, uh, uh So with that being said, today we will be building 0G on Endeavor OS, all right? So on with the guide. How many steps are there to build 0G? Three, only three steps. Very simple, it's as easy as one, two, three. So let me first explain uh, a little bit about what we use to build 0G and 0KDE. We use a tool called ABS. I think it stands for Arch ISO Builder Script. I could be wrong, uh, but it was created by a, a very good friend of the project by, uh, that goes by the name of Kadisa or Key for short, which is very uh, easy to use. If you, uh, if you want to ask the developer any questions, feel free to join our Discord. Hit him up over there. So, to get that uh, tool, we have to add the repo. It's available only on the developer's repo. So, to add the, that repo to your pacman.conf, I gave you the steps over here. So, what we do first, copy and then Control shift v in terminal, hit enter, put your password. It's already there, I already put it there, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, see, it's over here, these four lines. But what you do is, is you copy this 
then you put your cursor where you want to put the repo, Control shift v and it's there, and then Control x for, to, uh, to exit and save, hit yes, and hit enter. I'm going to cancel. All right, because it's already there. Now we need to get the, the uh, database in. So we do sudo pacman dash s y y u. We wait for the databases to get populated. Okay, a small update. Then we copy the command to install the ABS tool. Control Shift V. Hit Enter. It's already installed, but anyway, install it anyway. And now the very, very important part. Step two: clone the repo. Since Git is already installed, we're not going to install it. We need to grab the build environment, this page. See the code? That page. So we need to cd into the home directory and git clone the build repo there. So control shift V as usual, hit enter and watch it clone. The repo is done cloning. Now on to step number three, building the zero ISO. See? We're almost done. You can either use this command or this one. I'm going to use the second one just for the heck of it. What this will do, it will CD into the repo that we just cloned and run abs-xg. That's it. And watch the magic happen. Control shift B, hit enter. Step one, getting ready to build zero Linux GNOME. Type your password, making sure you have the latest Arch ISO. Yeah, this script makes sure you have the latest Arch ISO. Now, as for the first prompt, yes, the script will prompt you if you're building your, your own ISO, let's say. You can modify the profile def, the Arch ISO profile def. You can modify all this, but I'm not. Hit enter. Okay, moving on. Here is the release date. Uh, there's an alias in zero called ISO. I will be asking you, the user, if, whenever you have an issue, I will be asking you, the user, to type ISO in the terminal. This is an alias that will give me this date. Since this will be released on Christmas, I'm going to call it 12-25-2022. Hit enter. And now it will take a while. Here it's going to update the databases and go ahead and build. So instead of making this into a five hour video, I'll be back when it's done building. All right, it's done building. And now it's going to ask you for your password to give the end ISO the correct permissions. So you type your password, make sure to click in the terminal, hit enter and voila, you got yourself an ISO. Now it's about time to test this ISO. I'll be right back once I load the ISO into a VM. All right, now that we got the uh, resulted ISO loaded in a VM, let me get my, uh, myself out of the way. Let's begin. As you can see, now Zero uses Grub instead of System D. I don't like the idea, but what can I do? Uh, Arch decided not to no longer use systemd, so I follow suit. Anyway, let's go. Select the free, let it load. The ISO has loaded. As you can see in uh, KVM or QMU or Vert Manager, as people call it, the resolution is not so great. That's why in Zero Linux Hello, we have a button called QMU Resolution Fix. Just click that and boom, the resolution is fixed. That saves you from having to go right click, ch display settings, and so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm not going to go over what's included in the uh, GNOME edition. This is not a video about uh, what's included. It's just that how uh, it's just me showing you how you can easily, very easily build the zero G ISO. And there you have it. So. Yeah, I don't know what, what else to say. 
you have to dig into the tool. And I'll have a separate video going over zero G in detail. But for now, how easy was that? As they say, that's all she wrote, folks. Just know the code will forever be free. So do not hesitate to, to fork this project, modify it to your needs, rename it and enjoy. I, I highly encourage you to. Learning is the only way to stop relying on others to fix any and all issues you might encounter. Please do let me know in the comments below if you liked this video and if you have any ideas as to how I can monetize the project better without having to resort to charging for the ISO. Uh, and what else do you want to see me cover, etc, etc, etc. With that being said, I hope this video helped you, uh, helped you understand a few things. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. God bless. This is Dark Zero unplugging from the Linux Matrix.